Hello America, it's Lydia again. Um, I just want to touch bases with you and let you um, into my blogging, okay? And my first, or my second blog is my motivation to serve again. Like, why did I want to join Mission Continues? And it's actually quite simple, really. Um, I wanted to join because I miss... Um, I miss volunteering a lot. I worked with the young Los Angeles Marines and I went back to school so I couldn't do both. And then um, I was on the Ricky Lake show and I got invited to go to um, F7 group which is a female veterans retreat and it was just outstanding. I love the women there. Angie totally rocks. And I met a lot of awesome, phenomenal females that I'm still in contact with today. So it was a very great experience, to say the least. Um, so the first thing it says, does your motivation to serve stem from your military um, experience? And I would have to say, yes, it does. When I was in the Navy, um, they made a lot of us uh, females more active. Um, and it wasn't because, you know, it was a female-male thing. It was never like that. Or at least if it was, I didn't uh, perceive it that way. What happened was we had a lot of time. I was on shore duty when I got out of boot camp. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, we had a lot of time, a lot of free time. And if all the boats were washed and, and gassed up, we did a lot of um, volunteer service around the base. And this base was Mayport, Florida, the Sunshine State, down south, right? And uh, I really enjoyed working with the Red Cross on base. Um, I had to renew some of my licenses that I had prior getting into the military. My mom really... Um, inspired my sister and me to volunteer at you know younger age so I always had that need to help other people if I can you know if I can help you I'd be more than happy to do so and to get to know the person that I'm serving with and it's just you know a great experience all the way around kind of deal so um, being in the military in the Navy my first two years I worked with the Red Cross um, they were actually located on the base, and um, we would do our PT, and then our job, and then after our job, uh, if we weren't going to school that day, uh, we would go to um, the Red Cross, and we would volunteer, and um, it was kind of cool because we had an option to um, get our, I forgot what kind of license it's called, like, um, a license to lifeguard and that was really cool that was that was the thing you know back then <laughs> when I was young <laughs> okay so um, I actually volunteered at the library at the Red Cross any anything that I could get my hands on um, the soccer leagues in the Navy and stuff like that I was the water girl it was a very important job okay um, it says, do you see a need in your community that, that needs to be addressed? And that is absolutely yes. There's many yeses. Um, a lot of things um, people may not see that's really wrong in my community is the starvation. Um, I'm not no skinny little girl, let me tell you. <laughs> um, Mama eats well. Um, let's see. What really hurts me was I was running um, on Wilshire Boulevard, and um, I looked up, this, it was 7-Eleven, I was going to get some water or something, something crazy, and I looked up at a billboard, and the billboard said this, one out of five children in the United States goes to school hungry, because the times that we're living in were poor or, or something, right? And I was thinking to myself, that is the most disgusting thing in my country, where I come from, where I'm born. I don't feel that 
people go hungry, you know? How is it in the land of opportunities where dreams are, are come and, and parents and families travel so far to give their children, the next generation, right, these opportunities that they did not have in their own country? How are these people starving? You know, and I don't understand that. And um, I watched a lot of things on the news about children's behaviors, how they were acting irrational, very aggressive, extremely angry. And it has a lot to do with your eating and what you eat. Some people is like, oh, you don't have your PhD yet, Lydia, so I can't listen to you, you know. I've done over three and a half years of research on hunger and food and nutrition. Um, I can't say I'm a nutritionist just yet because I'm not licensed to say that, but I have done quite a few of the handbooks for Florida to be a nutritionist. And um, I feel like this community here in Los Angeles, it's so huge, but everybody is so far apart as well. And it's kind of funny. But not, you know, um, I noticed that a lot of people are very hungry and I noticed that a lot of kids go to school with no supplies or, you know, they have all these drama and problems they're bringing home from home to school and it's really hard for the young kids today to study and I just feel like, like what I saw on the subway just today just today, oh my gosh, um, there was uh, a string quartet on the subway and they were going to the Walt Disney um, thing to do a concert for their school or whatever and um, the guy goes, man, I'm starving, um, but I didn't have any money and his friend chipped in, he's like, hey, here, have some of money and I wish a lot of us had that same mentality, you don't have some, I do, let's share you know, and um, that was just that was just one simple example of people here um, that are truly hungry, and it's amazing what you can do on a full stomach. And a lot of people think that you know uh, there's many problems out there in this world. You know, kids are getting abused and all this other stuff. Well, starvation is an abusement, is a neglect. That you, the children are neglecting their nutrition in their body. So how are you uh, supposed to um, have these children act a certain way when their tummies are so hungry? And I feel like um, starvation is a huge thing. Really do. Then it says, do you want to see your son or daughter grow up in a better world? I don't have any kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a niece, her name is Vivian, so the answer is definitely yes, you know, if I could um, feed every kid in, in my community, that would be a really awesome thing, you know, have programs set up, and there's there are some schools that I do know, especially on the East Coast where I come from, that have programs for parents that are making certain amount of money and income that they can eat breakfast free because people are realizing how important nutrition is how important it is to eat organically but you know all my other blogs <laughs> I talked about that but um, seriously that is a huge thing that I see on a daily in um, Los Angeles California alright that's the end of my blog thank you for watching God bless you I love you and know I'm praying for you. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.